Hey guys, it's Lord here, back again with another action figure review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Masterverse New Eternia Buzz Off. Brought to us by the fine folks over at, say it with me now, Mattel. And much like Stratos, who we took a look at yesterday, check that review out if you haven't already. We'd really appreciate it if you did. I gotta tell you, I think the fine folks over at Mattel may have given us. Like Stratos, the best rendition of Buzz Off we've ever had in the history of the Masters of the Universe brand. I'm gonna die by that sword. I don't care how good the Classics version is. Same with Stratos. I think this is a contender for one of the best Buzz Off figures ever. And Buzz Off, like Stratos, it's not a character uh, your boy really gives a dying moose's last crap about. So that says quite a bit, in my opinion. And if I do wind up doing a top 10 Masterverse figures of the year video for 2023, uh, this guy and Stratos are probably going to make an appearance on it somewhere. I'm not going to lie. So, cutting right to the chase and getting into the meat and taters of this review. In the way of Buzz Off's accessories, he does come with his axe weapon here. And uh, he holds on to this in a really cool way. We'll talk about that in a minute. Because he also comes with a helmet. Now, we all know Buzz Off's known for his weird helmet mask thing. This is actually a helmet. And while I do like this rather sadistic looking Buzz Off face here. Tilt it up. Might be able to see it a little better. His big old bug eyes. I like this more. And this is how mine is going to be. Um, that is freaking cool. I, I really like how that came out. That said, it is kind of a pain in the butt to get on there at first, but once you get it on there, it stays on there, and it looks really good. I mean, look at that. It just kind of adds to the B aesthetic. One thing, though, that he does have that I did not take off is this harness here, because it was a B-I-T-C-H pain in the A double snake to get on there. And if you guys want to see me struggle, put this on, then uh, you can start donating to the channel at Overlord Productions. At, and I'm kidding, of course. But uh, if you want me to struggle to put this on, then you are a terrible human being. I had to heat this thing up, and I had to put it on that way. Uh, it still has the potential to pop off, so for all extents and purposes, I will not be showing the torso articulation on this guy. Though he does have the standard... Um, well, new standard torso articulation for Masterverse figures. He's got the uh, kind of the ball pig here and rotation up here, which I'm taking full credit for because ever since they put out Too Bad, they've been using that articulation. And uh, something I've been saying that they should do since the beginning of the line. It's just a sturdier build, man. So as far as Buzz Off's articulation for the rest of him goes, his head does look up and down and side to side. It's got that weird disc hinge thing. Now if we can only get like a double ball peg in here. Imagine the possibilities. They'd be endless. Um, his shoulders go out to the side. Back down. They rotate forward and back. He's got a bicep swivel. Double elbow. Which is pretty tight on this figure. So bear with me here. There you go. Then he also has a swivel in the wrist. And the claws on this guy open. And I think this is the first time they've ever done that. Uh, no hinge otherwise. It's just a swivel. But you can actually pop the hands off and remove these bracers if you want. So that's cool. Of course, a lot of these uh, parts will be uh, reused for Clawful, who we will look at at a later date. Not sure when exactly. But if I uh, move his wings out of the way here. He does have a waist twist. That does work. He does, of course, have the torso articulation, like I said. But I don't want to pop the harness loose. I don't know if you can see how I have it. It's kind of at an angle. I had to warp it. And then the tabs that usually slot into the slots there. They are a bit of an angle as well. Um, that's just that's how you get it in there. There's no other way to get it in there. 
it is what it is um he does have a notch on his back which if he were good with like some sandpaper or a nail file or something you could probably file that down and get a little bit more clearance but uh, i don't want to wreck my toy so yeah his hips will kick out to the side though pretty far back down they kick forward and back he's got a nice soft loin cloth piece here is this a separate um bit or is this a uh, not tab on piece it is not because the loincloth feels like the same loincloth we've gotten with some of the new eternia figures but it's got a new belt piece so i think it is a different mold but with some recycled elements to it he does have thigh cuts double knee which uh, does work but it is very tight on mine clearly can I pop this thing? Show you the full range. There you go. Pretty sure I had to heat up one of his knees. Uh, I can't remember, honestly. I know I had to heat up this foot because uh, the hinges are really tight. We'll get to that in a second. He does have a calf cut. does have the rocker in the feet. And he does have ankle hinges, but holy snap are they tight. You can hear that pop there. And uh, this isn't even the one I had to heat up. This one is. And uh, it's still pretty tight. So if you get this guy in the feeder a little bit of a bugger to move, uh, make sure you heat him up. Don't break your toys. That's never fun. He does have peg holes on the bottom of his feet too. And as far as these wings go, they are pretty cool because they are segmented. Uh, you got these inner segments here, which can collapse down and rotate out what sucks is they don't have hinges so it's kind of weird having these hinge and not those uh, that said these do rotate in the back but you do got to hold down on them or else they will pop off so they don't snap in per se but if you push them in deep enough they will stay in and they will pop into place and uh, just checking that harness again making sure nothing's screwed up here because, yeah, you could see the freaking harness there is doing all it can to stay on this figure. And if I move this torso, I am screwed and I'm going to be messing with that for an hour. So uh, we'll just uh, call it a day here. Because this figure needs no more exclamations. You have to pick this guy up if you don't already got him. He's awesome. Uh, I love this figure. This is one of the best masterverse figures of the year in my opinion of a character i'm not really big into so if that doesn't say a lot i don't know what does and as far as the axe goes of course you can open up the claw put it in there and there he is with his axe simple as that jack so uh putting his arm down now that is buzz off in a nutshell so with all that being said let's now move right along and take a look some size comparisons first up here is good old buzz off alongside a fellow winged warrior stratos and all of his sean connery glory as well as the star of the show of course he-man viking he-man to be exact and much like i said in the stratos video buzz off's been hitting the gym and can hold up with the best of them now so uh, i'm all here for it so i'm getting them out of the way I still think this Viking He-Man's underrated. I really like this figure. This, of course, would not be one of my videos without bringing in Mythic Legion's Brother Mandibulith, who is awesome. Speaking of awesome, we also have the infamous okay, 11 Spawn, who also, like the Stratos video from yesterday, are not out of frame. Look at that. And uh, while Buzz Off can, you know, hang out with the best of them in his own universe, he can uh, stack up with these two as well. So with all that being said, i wrap things up. Some final thoughts. Overall, and while I've never been a huge fan of good old Buzz Off here, no matter what generation he's from, I gotta tell you, Mattel took the aesthetics from both the vintage design and the more updated modern 2000X design, put them in a blender, and gave us 
quite possibly one of, if not the best Buzz-Off figure I've ever seen anyways. I mean, there's always the classics, there's always going to be the classics, but if you don't have that one, like myself, this is not bad Buzz-Off figure by any means. I mean, A, it's cheaper, it's 20 bucks, as opposed to, what's the old one go for, 200 <laughs> And, in my opinion, it's got the insectoid look from 2000X, but is still true to the vintage look of the original design. Which should make everyone happy, right? Fingers crossed. I'm sure there's somebody complaining on Facebook about it, but we don't care about them here. We only care about what we, the good people of the toy community, want. And, in my opinion, I couldn't have asked for a better buzz-off figure than this one right here so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this review until next time i'll catch you guys later